Hello everyone, and today we're going to have a go at installing a solar light. Right, so this is the light we went for, after much deliberation. Um, twin head, so we can move it around. So it gives us a bit of play where we need it, the wheelie bins. Normal sensor, and you've got normal functions on this solar light. Time and look, so we can change the functions of it. There's an auto and off switch. That's pretty much it. So what else is in the in the box? Uh, raw plugs and screws, always handy. Don't want to be guessing, do we? And also, newer technology, which is the solar panel. One final thing I can see in this box is some pretty rubbish instructions. Now I've checked this already. It seems to have come with a bit of charge and it's, it's pretty bright to be fair. Look at that, it's very, very bright. So uh, 500 lumens it says, but it lights the place up. So we had a fair old think about this before we, we went for a solar light. Positives and negatives. Negatives are always, oh, will it charge? I think the technology is probably there now. Um, these solar panels are good. Um, as long as it's positioned south facing, we should be fine. Um, positives, we don't need an electrician, do we? Uh, free power these days, cost of electricity these days. And if we can get it with the right angle, enough sunshine, even in the UK, I think these panels will, will um, charge it. But I will post a second video after a year's time to see how it's furring, see if it's changed. But the brightness, second to none, it's pretty much like a mains light uh, to me. So let's get some of these functions out of the way whilst we're inside, because it's cold out there and I don't want to be messing when we're outside. So the first thing is, how do we mount, mount it to the wall? It seems as though there's three raw plugs. We just take this manual screw out by hand. The little clip on the top and we pull it out. Not much in there these days, is it? But, so uh, the instructions briefly say that three there's three point holes. So we'll be drilling three holes, affixing this to the wall. Imagine my hand is the wall there. And then this should clip over. Let's push that in. So that clips in. And then we'll be, don't lose that. Then we'll be uh, reattaching that bit there. Get in. I don't want to be losing the smallest bit, do any important one. Solar panel bit. Uh, looks like there's just four mounting screws, so the, we'll pretty much mount those in, put them on. One cable, I think there's about five metres on this, uh, and it looks as though this bit here is rubber for some vent of water. It looks a simple case of plug and play here. Pick that in, push, I'm ready to go, that should charge. All right. So the first thing we need to think about is the position of the light. Mrs. keeps moaning that she can't see the wheelie bins on a night when we come into this entry. So there's its natural position. So it would probably be useful to put it up here. Uh, we'll also double up on security as well. Now, once you've chosen your position, ours is there. Uh, because the solar panel's on a cable, it doesn't have to sit next to the light. So that's one of the positives. We can actually put it around the corner here, which is more south facing. Uh, place it there. So next is time to orientate your uh, solar panel. As you can see, I'm quite sad on a compass. I'm not expecting you guys to own one. Uh, I do a bit of walking, so that's why I've got one, but we've all got these on our phones these days, so get your phone out and have a go at orientating. Aim for as close as south as possible. Um, it says on, if you do a bit of Googling, anywhere between southeast and uh, south uh, west is useful uh, and the angle of the panel itself should be 30 to 45 degrees for maximum solar gain so when you do a bit of googling you'll see that yourself i'm by no means of an expert on positioning of solar panels so i've decided on a position marked it off with some masking tape what i'm going to do now is position this in and just a quick tip, it's easier to drill through the mortar between the bricks than through the bricks themselves. So I'm actually going to position it, because this is three screws, one, two, three. Uh, so it lines up with the mortar. So to get these screws on, it looks like we're in charge of making the holes for it. Just make sure the hole's not too big for the screw. Make sure it's in position. Next one. Let's get it in the centre. Final one at the top. Sure we don't bust the whole thing. So all I've done, mark these off with the pencil, uh, the holes where I'm going to be drilling. I've aimed for the mortar. You can see the little pencil holes there. Drill time. Hang 
give them a tap in. Put it into position in the holes. Try and get, see if we can get that in for you. slide on, I'm just going to have to press that button there, push that button down and you can see that it's clipped into place. Don't drop this one, so this one goes in and it twists, it's not the easiest thing in the world, I'm twisting that on, position so it's looking something like this, we should be able to move these as we need to, just a quick test with its temporary function, there you go, they're on. So, picked up a position, I'm going to take advantage of the mortar as well here, so three screw holes in the mortar, you can see that there, and then one into the brick, and then in, in terms of the position it will allow us to make sure it's south facing. So deciding on our position, mark the holes, so it's just a drill bit to try and mark those and we'll drill them now. I've got to say this plastic's a bit flimsy so you've got to be very very careful with it. Uh, drill time again. So provisionally put the screws in as you can see and now it's a bit awkward this but we should be able to get through. I don't know the rest what you might use but I've got an extendable uh, screwdriver here so put it into place, Let's get all the screws to match up to the raw plugs first and then it's a case of trying to carefully screw these in. And this plastic is it's a bit flimsy, so I would be very careful with it when you're doing it. In position now. Wire that comes out the back. We press it long, and to make the, make it charge and connect up to the solar panel, we're just going to clip this in. So a simple plug and play thing here, uh, and then we're going to have to clip these up properly so it looks neat. Clip the wire to the wall so it looks a bit neater using these little uh, clips. So these ones are five mil. So I'll try and just show you this quick. I will show you them all, but just putting these little clips in. I'm going to tap them across. And that should hold it into position. Make sure there's enough slack to be able to move the sub panel. If anyone's awkward like me, uh, I don't like wires everywhere, so I managed to fold them up, push them in, and this you can see that this will fit over the top. The only thing I've had to do is cut a little hole here so that they are pre-pushed holes um, and that should fit without all horrible wires everywhere so you can see it tracing up there. So for me I'm happy with that, it's relatively neat, it's not a big bird's nest anywhere. Let's try it up here and then it's going across there and round to the back. I'll show you that in a minute but let's just switch it on. It's good to me. Nice and neat. 